What is going on everybody, it's Skills here. And today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to parachute like a pro. Yes, I get so many questions in so many videos asking, man, I cannot figure out how to parachute. I try to jump from different ledges, I end up just falling down. And I'm gonna to try to explain to you guys the best way I can to help you guys improve on this and show you some good locations that you guys might be able to practice your jumping, your parachuting from cliffs and from other high objects instead of jumping just from helicopters because truthfully, get, jumping out of helicopters and parachuting is probably the easiest thing to do in the game. But where it gets tough and where it gets complicated is when you wanna jump from these buildings. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys some tips and tricks to try to improve your ability to jump from these objects and do them successfully. So the first place I would recommend going to is if you guys look at where Sea Islands is, if you go to the southwestmost corner, there is an island there and there's a bunch of huge cliffs. And this place is great for testing out your ability to jump from these cliffs, to skydive, to use the parachute, right? Because that's the hardest thing to do in the game, I think, parachuting wise. Now, once you're in a helicopter or in a plane or whatever, skydiving is so much easier. But a lot of times we get stuck and we fall down and we don't make it on these small jumps like this. So step one is as soon as you get to the ledge, you need to make sure that you're hitting the forward and then the jump button or the parachute button at the same time. So on controller, that's A. On PC, that's spacebar. So as soon as you get close to the corner, you need to make sure that you time it right where you hold down the parachute button. Like I said, A on controller and then the space bar on PC. Now, tip number two is you wanna make sure you have a little bit of clearance before you jump off this cliff, right? So let's take a look. Um, I'm gonna go into photo mode and I'm gonna show you how much clearance I have from underneath me to where I'm at, right? So there's a lot of clearance right here, right? This ledge is huge. This should be an easy ledge for you to consistently use the parachute feature and not fall down and die, right? So I'm gonna show you an example of me being a little bit too slow hitting the parachute button and what happens and what this is probably what's happening to a lot of you guys who are struggling at doing it. So I end up sprinting, which you don't have to do, and I don't hit the parachute button. And that happens to so many people and that can cause us to die and have to start over a mission and it just sucks, right? So tip number three is stand closer to the edge, don't sprint. And once you're closer to the edge, just hit forward on your joystick, hit the parachute button, and voila, you're able to do it. I found that sprinting towards the edge is a little bit harder to consistently deploy your parachute than if you're a little bit closer and you only take one to two steps. So if you are having trouble sprinting and deploying your parachute, the next step would be don't try sprinting one to two steps like you saw here step forward like you're in a sprinting motion deploy your parachute by using the a on the controller the space bar and it should effectively deploy your parachute instead of dying you're cruising down aurora right and that's what we want to do we want to be able to effectively use our parachute because this is a pretty cool feature that they added to ghost recon breakpoint and if you can Learn how to deploy this in certain situations. It could help you getting out of those battles where you just went in to pick up a blueprint. You have like 20 enemies chasing you and you really just want to get out of the area, right? You just run, jump off the cliff, deploy your parachute, and we're base jumping like the pros. Another place that I recommend coming, if you go south of Aurora, there are some small islands down here that have huge mountains. Just take a, a helicopter down here either go to one of the bivouacs you might have unlocked, but use your helicopter to land on one of those higher cliffs and then just practice base jumping over and over and over again. And before you know it, you guys will become a pro at this. Now, I was having a lot of trouble at first too. And then once I did fly to these um, mountains that I found on the Southern Islands, it was a lot easier. It was a lot easier to learn to base jump, to parachute straight from these mountains and land on smaller ledges and practice jumping from those and the great thing about these areas is a lot of times there are bivouacs on top of these cliffs so if you can find a really good bivouac on top of one of the cliffs 
you can just keep respawning there like after you do your base jump and you either fail or succeed and then start over and then practice again and then just keep practicing and practicing and practicing and before you guys know it I'm 100% sure you guys are going to be pro at doing this because it just took me a couple jumps and then I was consistently knocking these out of the park. I hope these tips are going to help you guys become better at this. I know so many people were asking me questions on this and I felt like maybe they were just they weren't approaching the cliff right and I think the approach is where you guys could fail the most. And I'm going to show you one clip real quick of my favorite spot to practice and where I practiced a lot. I took maybe like 20 minutes and I was just jumping and I was actually having fun doing it. But this is my spot. There's a bivouac and then there's a really cool cliff right next to it so I could practice over and over there. So if you ended up watching this video this long, here you go. This is my secret tip right here. This bivouac right here that I keep showing. I jump from this bivouac to where my character is located and I go back and forth, back and forth. And this is where I practice. I want to say for a good 15 to 20 minutes before I nailed it down. So if you're still struggling with how to use the parachute to base jump from cliffs, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. Maybe I can help you guys out a little bit more. You do have to unlock this in the skill tree. So before you untap this, make sure you have the parachute unlocked or you will not be deploying anything. So unlock the parachute on your skill tree. Use these tips and hopefully they work. Thank you guys again. But we're going to wrap up this video here. Until the next Ghost Recon Breakpoint video, nothing but skills is out.